The first thing is ignorance of God. A subtopic under there is that finite human beings cannot know God completely. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. Also, he has put eternity in, into man's heart, yet so that he cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. Job chapter 38 verse 1 through 7 says, Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Dress for action like a man I will question you and I will make it known to me where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth tell me if you have understanding who determined its measurements surely you know or who has stretched the line upon it on what were its bases sunk or who laid its cornerstone when the morning stars sank together and all the sons of God shouted for joy. Another scripture Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 5 as you do not know the way the spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with child so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. A second subtopic under ignorance of God is this ignorance will be dispelled at Jesus Christ's return. First Corinthians chapter 13 verse 9 through 12 says for we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known.